Alright, so today I'll be doing a staycation over here in Park Royal Pickering. It was one of my favorite hotels, I think, to stay in. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys how it goes. So, let's see how the hotel is. Alright, so this is my room over here in Park Royal Pickering. This is the lifestyle room, which is the second category above the urban rooms. So, you know, over here on the right, you know, there is a nice little wooden backrest. You have a little compartment below for your shoes. You notice, you know, that the entire room is decked out in sort of this wooden furnishing. You know, it evokes like a very natural uh, vibe. You know, it's very sus it actually should be because the hotel is supposed to be known for its sustainability. Very moji like feels. Over here, you know, you have bathrobes. In this cover, you have bathrobes. You know, your uh, wooden hangers. There's iron. There's ironing board as well. Uh, below, there's a safe. As well as your complimentary slippers. So, yeah, a pretty big uh, cupboard. Should fit, you know, uh, everything that you need. Uh, moving along, you know, over here on the left, there is sort of like a chiller. So it's not really a fridge, it's more like a chiller, you know, you can store, you can see I've stored some cake in it. So, you know, there's, you can, if you have drinks or, you know, dessert, you can store it. Uh, below, there's a kettle. So again, uh, wooden drawers, you know, very sustainable vibes. Uh, moving further along, you know, you do get, I'm very interesting, I never uh, tried the bacha coffee before. So that'll be a first, and of course your TWG tea, as we kind of have known to like. Um, you know, very sustainable green color cups, you some creamer, you know, some raw sugar as well. And last but not least, you know, we also get uh, some wine glasses and spirit glasses, you know, for the alcoholics out there that don't prefer coffee and tea. But yeah, I think this is the sort of refreshment draw, I suppose. Now moving along to the main room, so you will notice that it is quite spacious. I believe this is about 31 or 32 square meters. You know, there is a king size bed. And you know, for a five-star hotel, it's not surprising that there is also a pillow menu as well. So you're able to you know order different type of uh, pillows. I've actually really tried a bit. You know, it's actually pretty comfortable. I should have a good night's sleep here. Or on the left, you know, there's a very huge uh, mirror here. It's a full-length mirror. You're able to you know check yourself out before going out. And you see like a phone, analog phone on the left. You need to call housekeeping, a notepad, uh, the TV remote, some bedside lamps. And talking about the TV remote, we do get like a very huge, I think this is about 55 inch or 60 inch Samsung Smart TV over here. Uh, I did try to connect to some Netflix, but I can't get it to work. But maybe there's a user error or like a equipment fault. So here we have complimentary, you know, uh, water. So again, uh, in line with like the hotel sustainability team, we don't get our usual plastic water bottles, but instead water comes in these sort of glass cups and containers. You have the big side. Uh, power control panel here, you know, some ports for charging, and of course, another bedside lamp. We also get a very nice soft, uh, couch or sofa, so if you want to sit, lie down, chill, you know, you can enjoy, it's like checking at night, so you can enjoy sort of this, you know, um, view of the city, you know, it really is quite, uh, beautiful at night, you know, the city landscape, you can see it, the post museum in the distance. Now, over here, there is a workstation as well, so you're planning to book like, a workstation, you know, there is your Herman Miller sale chair, which retails for, 600 to uh, 800 USD, uh, pretty comfortable ergonomic chair, you know, there is of course a glass, tempered glass workstation. So yeah, and you get plenty of everything you need. You have a LAN cable, an analog phone in case you need anything, uh, table lamp, yeah, pretty nice touch. And also, so, you know, upon checking, you know, I think each guest will get like a care package, which just includes their antibacterial wipes, antiseptics, and masks as well. So again, pretty nice touch in these COVID times. Alright, but I think to me, the main highlight of the room will definitely be, you know, sort of this open concept uh, bathroom. So if you want some privacy, there are actually doors here that you can slide, but I think that defeats sort of the purpose. Again, you see, you know, I think this is one of the more better bathtubs I've seen. You know, it's pretty slick, pretty uh, look, good looking, you know, and you can, of course, because of the way it's engineered, you can rest on one end as well. So pretty nice touch. Over here, you know, you get your lighted up vanity mirrors. Very nice, you know, green color. So again, you can see there's some design team here in terms of the pastel green uh, towers and there's a wing scale at the bottom. And here we get a complimentary, you know, uh, toiletries. It's, the toiletries are from the Australian luxury brand Mattis. So you get conditioner, body cleanser, shampoo, as well as uh, body cream. There's a lot of amenities available. There's white toothbrush and black toothbrush. I'm not quite sure why is the difference. Uh, your comb as well at the behind. Toothpaste, shower cap, shaving kit. Yeah, pretty nice. And of course, as you guys can see here, you get a rain shower and a shower head. 
as well as you know, your toilet uh, and all this is encased in this transparent glass so if you're a fan of this sort of open aesthetic you know you will love this setup over here so i think my only knock would be i quite like this you know uh transparent setup i think it's pretty cool pretty modern and contemporary my only knock would be that you know even though the toilet is relatively modern you, know, you can see that it's a concealed uh, system and two different flushing options so i'll just show you the two different uh flushing options and of course you have the mirror teams and the transparency team continue over here but even though it's relatively modern it doesn't have a bidet which is a bit disappointing coming for like a fine style hotel especially a sustainable fine style hotel of course water is more sustainable than uh, toilet paper so i wish it has a bidet but over here i have no complaints on the rain shower and uh the handheld shower head combination very nice again more mattis and mattis are available yeah pretty good touch overall you know i really love uh the bathroom i think i can force myself spending quite a long time just soaking in the bathtub as well as in you know perhaps doing some work at the work uh, at the workstation over here resting on the herman Mueller sail chair and after that of course resting on the very comfortable king size bed with you know pillows of my choice all right so that wraps up you know this little tour of the room so i'll probably see you guys at either the pool or the gym so here's the pool over here in the part where i'll pick so it's a pretty nice pool you can see it's a very good view very picturesque view of below there'll be Hong Lim park of the city landscape so it's sort of like an infinity pool of sorts you know of course it's nothing compared to the mbs one but i see a very nice touch i had a good swim here you know just got out it's of course it's an iconic uh, sort of nest around the pool that Park Royal Pickering is known for some lounge chairs on the side then you see the gym in the background uh, the spa as well on the, over on the right side and then here over here we do have like a little uh, jacuzzi pool so I'll probably go and try the jacuzzi after this but yeah over the jacuzzi has a pretty nice view you know of the city landscape and Hong Park in particular yeah pretty nice if you want as well you can you know chill in this cozy little nest out here one of the nicest pool I've been to, you know. I'll definitely come back just for this pool. Alright, so I'm just about to check out of you know Park Royal Pickering. I would say overall, you know, it's been quite a pleasant stay. I think definitely for under $200, which you can sometimes find on certain sales. I think it's quite a good deal. Uh you know, everything was expected of a five-star uh, property, you know, everything the service was I think very personable and great. No complaints about the service. Um, you know, everybody was very courteous, the hotel lobby was nice, the facilities, especially the pool and the gym, they were very impressive as well. I definitely say that the Pickering pool is one of my favorite pools uh, to swim at, you know, the sort of almost infinity-like pool that looks over uh, Hong Lim Park and the rest of the city uh, around the area. Yeah, so the pool was pretty nice and the gym also was pretty big, uh, very high-tech, so you connect, I realized that you connect like, my phone to the treadmill and things like that. So yeah, overall the amenity is pretty cool. The room itself, I was quite impressed as well, you know, uh, as you've seen in the previous video, you know, it's quite spacious. I like the wood team, you know, very muji like very minimalist, very much in congruent with the hotels. Uh, sustainable sort of team as well as the bathtub you know very unique design with a green pastel color and i do like and appreciate sort of like the open concept toilet as well you know with the rain shower as well as the concealed you know toilet system although you know, there could have been a bidet but that's probably the only knock here in this room i think i quite liked the 55 inch tv as well and the bed you know, was pretty comfortable to sleep at they even have i think i think i didn't talk about this but they even have like a pillow menu so you can sort of try out different pillows and see which uh fits you the best I would say that perhaps the only knock that I have would be some cleanliness issues in the room, which I elaborate on in the article. But other than that, you know, uh, I would say Park Royal Pickering probably I would say it exceeded my expectations, but I would say it probably met my expectations. And I think under two hundred dollars, you know, if you're looking for like a sort of unique, uh, sort of because this hotel is described like a hotel in a garden sort of thing, so you want a more unique uh, hotel staying experience, you know, not those usual, uh, time in a dozen you know, five star hotels that you get. I think. Pickering makes for like a fair, rather sort of unique stay and very intriguing stay to say the least. Alright, so that's it for this little staycation review or blog. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe, do share out. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!